it's one of those uh, super twisty, like literally okay. goes off the rails. You yeah. have no idea what's going to be. Ah, happening. okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can, if you guys are wondering where you can check this out, it you can get it uh, VOD. I, I I rented it for ninety nine cents. Okay. So uh, you know, drop the dollar and check it out, guys. Yeah. It's called Better Watch Out. Nice. There's and, a, there's one movie that I'm actually uh, really looking forward to. I think you posted something about it on Instagram. Maybe uh, it's called. Uh, the jungle or jungle oh yeah um i i saw it on um it was on sale the other day on at target i think and i just you know walked by it and i was like oh man that's that's uh daniel radcliffe right yes and i was like oh he looks way different the um, guy man he does the he's like he he's like the new gosling yeah They're doing like the really like tight uh, movies that nobody knows about. Yeah, like super indie films that yeah. no one's ever under like, the radar. But yeah. when you watch them, you're just like, "What the f- holy shit!" This is so <laughs> yeah, good. yeah. So uh, kudos to that. Dude. Have, you, have you seen it? I I didn't get a chance. To okay, but yeah, I'm re- uh, that's a movie I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, Jungle. Yeah. All right. Um, I guess we're moving on to. And now for the movie focus of the week. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> which is uh, as we said in the beginning of the show it's The Departed yes um, it's rated R came out in 2006 it doesn't feel like it's been that no, long no not at it all it has been not that at all. long it's considered a crime drama it runs at 2 hours and 31 minutes it's got a 91 on Rotten it's written by William Monhand the budget was 90 mil and it grossed over 132 million starring matt damon leonardo dicaprio jack nicholson vera farmiga and it's set in the backdrop of contemporary south boston about an undercover cop who's trying desperately to take down one of the heavyweights in the irish mob it soon begins to be a race against time as it becomes known that there's also a mole within the boston police department yeah there always is (laughs) Yeah, man. So uh, let's jump into our questions. Yeah. Um, actually, I'll have I'll, I'll start it off. Uh, right. What was your most uh, mem- memorable scene from the movie? Memorable scene. Something that sticks out to you. Wow, there's there's so many. There's a lot, yeah. Um, I'll have to say the uh, the the it, it's very simple, but I feel like it's put in there to show you what a lo- like a what a a kind of live wire Leo's character is Costigan, mm. but um, he he goes into the bar, this bar where uh, Jack Nicholson's character is, um, and he orders a cranberry juice yeah. because he doesn't drink or he's mm. trying not to drink at the time. And uh, the the guy sitting next to him, they don't know each other. And he goes, uh, um, "Cranberry juice is a natural diuretic." My uh, my wife drinks it when she's got a period. Mm-hmm. He looks over to Leo and he's like, "What is it? Your period?" <laughs> and uh, Leo, yeah. being the uh, disgruntled gentleman that he is in yeah. this film, gets uh, super offended, you know, because he's Irish yeah. and he cracks the dude over the head with a, a glass. Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one, that part gets me every time. Yeah, I love it. Nice. I feel like, yeah, it, it perfectly displays how, uh, and they say it later on, you can't trust uh, a guy who acts like he's got nothing to lose mm-hmm. because Leo, he doesn't get fucked yeah. the entire thing. Yeah, he doesn't movie. care. He's just, like, you know, he's a lone ranger. But, uh, yeah, uh, well, I, I'm going to uh, answer my own question. Okay. My, uh, my I guess, uh, memorable or favorite scene was probably the end scene with... Um, Marky Mark taking out, uh, oh, yes. <laughs> taking out, uh, Damon. My boy. Yeah, he's just, he, you know, he walks into the room and, you know, he's got his, uh, what are they called? Like in, uh, little shoe covers or whatever. Boot- booties. booties or whatever, yeah. And he's all covered, you know, has his gloves on and everything, and he just takes him out, shoots him in the head, and he's like, okay, okay, okay. And he just shoots him, and, he, like, he doesn't get to say anything else. And then it's just like, oh, like, justice has been served, you know, uh. Because I feel like, um, Wahlberg uh, resigns mm-hmm. in the first place because I feel like he's already on to 
uh, he knows something's up. Yeah, Damon's character. Because yeah. they know they everybody knows that there's a, a rat in the police department somewhere. Yeah, and um, what's Matt Damon's uh, name in the movie? Uh, Colin. Yeah, Colin. So I feel like it starts to get uh, repetitive. Um, him covering up situations. Yeah. So my theory would be that Wahlberg had figured him out when he resigns. And he was just waiting to see uh, what was going to happen at Costigan. Mm-hmm. And when things play out the way that they did, he knows at that at the end point that it it was Colin the whole time. So he comes back for him, yeah. and it's and, and I love that because uh, Dignum, which is Wahlberg's character, and uh, Costigan, Leo's character, mm-hmm. they have a very uh, like a sh- kind of like they don't you you think that they hate each other the whole time well they like respect each other yeah. like, and I feel like um, at the end by the end point you can tell that Wahlberg really did care about him yeah it, it, that was his boy you know yeah. what I mean and uh, and that's what what happens yeah they take him out <laughs> yeah and then uh, you don't really get a sense of um, how long um, I think like midway through the movie you don't really know how long Leo's been um, undercover until he's uh he meets up with uh Mark Wahlberg and um who's uh, um Queenan. Yeah, Queenan uh and he tells him, you know, I've been doing this for a year and then you're like, Holy shit, like he's been undercover for a year, he's been doing all this crap for a year, which is it's insane. And uh I don't know, man, I can do that. That's that's pretty uh it's pretty rough. That uh, or that one scene where uh they make him wear a wire. <laughs> oh yeah. And then, uh, yeah, he goes to the bathroom and he throws it in water. And he's like, no more fucking wires ever. Yeah. <laughs> no more. I'll call you on the phone. <laughs> he's like, you don't know what, it is, what this is like. Yeah, you don't know what it is. Yeah, that was the, um, yeah, I like that. He was, uh, he was going to get caught. Um, okay, my question for you All right. is, uh, what was your favorite character? Hmm. There's a Favorite. lot. There's a, everybody's there's a, real strong in this. Yeah, there's a lot of characters. Um, let me think. Um, I would actually go with, um, I think Wahlberg's character, just because um, his role's not too big in yeah. this. Uh, it's kind of he's more of like a like a side character. I mean, he doesn't have that much screen time, and. Uh, but when he does, I feel like it, they make it count. Oh yeah, he definitely. Makes it count. Yeah, he he's definitely the center. You know, when uh, when he's on screen, show stealer. Yeah, and um, those scenes where him when you know, when he's uh, he's basically interrogating Leo in the beginning, mm-hmm. like you know your fucking uncle, like uh, you know just talking shit to him about basically about his family, like your family shit. Why do you want to be a cop? And then um, his I just like his like his demeanor, just his his character overall, just how he acts. He's just like a shit talker. Just a hard ass Boston yeah. dude. Yeah. No way. <laughs> and uh yeah, that's how they are over there. Mm-hmm. But you know, that's um And he's and a he's uh, from there. He's a native. Yeah. So that wasn't too far from No, that yeah. Home. I mean Damon too. I mean they're out there, you know a lot of guys come from there. But um yeah, I I'd have to say uh Wahlberg. Very cool. Who would uh your favorite character be? Wow, I would have to say Jack Nicholson. Yeah, right, all the way. Yeah, he just—he has so much good dialogue. Yeah, he does. A, he's such a crazy bastard. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you know, and I, I'm sure it wasn't. He, he didn't even really have to act that much. Oh That's, yeah, no, I, I feel like it was all just in his head. You know, he was just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Jumping off of that, yeah. uh, did you know that that scene where towards the towards the end when they start getting savvy to there's a they think that uh, Costigan mm-hmm. Leo's character might be the rat and they and and Jack um, uh, basically questions him about it to see what he's going to say. That whole scene in the bar where he's drawing and and uh, he pulls out the the weapon. Mm-hmm. Um, and he acts like he doesn't know what the gun is and stuff. Yeah. That was all improv. Really? Yeah, that was... Uh, nice. Leo had no idea what he was going to do. Oh. And, he, and he, he pulled that out of... Yeah, he was just like... That was all like... Uh, we were witnessing something, you know, crazy there. Wow, that's nice. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's that's, cool. that's pretty cool. But, uh, 
but yeah, Jack is my uh, favorite character for this. Yeah, his character was pretty. Uh, I mean, when he walks out of the uh, out of the back of the restaurant, all covered in blood, <laughs> and he's like, you know, some guys talk and some guys don't, <laughs> and it's just like, oh shit, like he's just like, and he's just like, like you know, it's whatever, it's another Tuesday, or whatever, and he's just got blood all over him, the sleeves rolled up, and he's like, oh, we need a mop in the back. And, you know, it's just like, oh, man, this guy's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to ask you another question. Uh, what would you rate this movie? This one, I would say it's a... Uh, it, it, I mean, it got uh, Best Picture Yeah. for the year that it, it came out, so I'd have to say it's a perfect for me. Okay, nice. I think it definitely is a flawless film. Yeah. Especially watching it uh, now with you and getting to pay attention to things that I didn't really... Mm-hmm. That we'll talk about later. Yeah, we'll talk thing, about it, yeah, yeah. A lot of things that I uh, didn't pick up on later. And I feel like w- the fact that it's come out so long ago and mm-hmm. I'm still learning stuff about it... Which is crazy. I mean, that's that's awesome. Yeah. I, it just shows you how, uh, how multi-layered yeah. Scorsese's films really yeah. are. And uh, yeah, so perfect for me. What okay. About, what about you, sir? Yeah, I was gonna actually give it the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Would, I mean, it's, your it's, first perfect. Yeah, on my here, first perfect. Yeah. <laughs> first, everything's been like a nine or like an eight point five, but no, yeah, I, I think it's it's perfect. I, I don't have any any problem with it at all. I, um, every single person in this movie, from the like the henchmen, you know, the little, the the guys, the, um, everybody, the cops, everything, uh, they were all on point, and they were all strong, solid. Um, characters and if someone had one line or two lines in the movie it was, it was solid lines they weren't uh, they weren't you know just wasted and I think that's uh, that's what makes this movie great everyone was so strong I uh, I actually saw or yeah I watched an interview with DiCaprio saying that uh, when he usually gets a screenplay mm-hmm. he has to tweak uh, the character or it's not fully fleshed out or the the screenplay isn't exactly what it needs to be and okay. he said with this one this was one of the first scripts that he got that was literally perfect like page by page nice. he was like this is ready to go like uh, I have okay. here. so I thought that was very interesting yeah that's cool yeah. Do you want to hear Swan Facts? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, just, I was just asking, is that a little, oh, piece of, oh, is that a little oh, tidbit of your... Um... I guess, yeah, I'm just throwing them out there <laughs> no, before we get there. No, that's cool. That's nice. <laughs> Good, a little, little tease for everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I think it's your question. Uh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, th- thoughts, well, first... Uh, <laughs> We're going to talk about some spoilers. This okay, movie spoilers, came out yeah. a, a while ago, wow. so I'm sorry. Uh, maybe put us on pause if you yeah. don't want to uh, hear too much. But what are your thoughts on DiCaprio's death in this film? I was going to ask you one of those, the same, pretty much the same question. Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> I still get upset when it happens because I'm just like, oh, like, you know, he, like, well, you, I, or, or, let me rephrase uh-huh. that. What were what were your thoughts when you watched this the very first time when you didn't know it was going to happen? Oh, the first time is I was just like, "What the fuck just happened?" Like, whoa, like, what's happening now? Like, what's going to happen? You know, my first thought was like, "What the fuck?" Like, that yeah, where's the story going? Where's yeah, where's the story going now? Like, everything's like lost now. Like, he's the only guy who knows the truth except for him and a. Uh, Maybe uh, Mark Wahlberg's character, but you don't know because he's has he left ha- halfway through the movie. Yeah, and you're like up until that point where to the very end where I talked about, you kind of don't know, and you're kind of just thinking like, so what's what's going to happen now? So I guess you know, uh, Colin uh, Damon's character he just gets away with it. You know, being the rat, and you know he's fine now, and he moves to a new city or whatever, and he's he's golden. Um, but yeah, that was my thought. I was just like, oh, like this, like what the fuck, you know, uh, kind of confused and surprised. Uh, what was your thoughts when it first happened? I was uh, I was definitely pissed because I mean, <laughs> of course you don't really see him die especially not yeah. like that in a film but i feel like that was what they were banking on uh-huh. and i really like that surprise and i like the brutality of oh, his yeah. kill and the fact that uh they didn't 
um, they didn't shy away from that just because of who he was. Yeah. I, so I really respected in, in, in that aspect. And 